Our guest today is Michael Sherlock, CEO of Shock Your Potential, a global leadership and sales training organization. Michael, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited about this. So, so many people are out of work right now, as we know, Michael, especially if you work in retail or the restaurant business. What is something former employees can do to put themselves in the best position to get working again? It's such an important topic, and I'm so honored to have had the chance to talk about it. So I break it down into three things. And the first one is be open and willing to pivot. So we know that, you know, like you said, the hospitality industry, uh, retail has been hit so incredibly hard. And we know that not all of those jobs are going to be immediately available again. And hopefully they will be after a while. But having the mental fortitude to pivot is really important. Absolutely. Well, job interviews are also changing. So how can people prepare for a new age of interviews over video because some people aren't comfortable with this Michael no they're not and we know that today we're gonna see it more and more frequently that you know not only are we communicating this way every day but job interviews and job training is going to take a lot of place on uh, on television in a television type of format meaning that in getting ready for that interview you want to approach it just like you're doing an interview here like you're gonna go on TV the lights need to be bright enough you need to be careful about what's behind you and make sure that you realize that people are looking all right so you've applied for jobs <laughs> and now waiting to hear back. Is there anything else you can do to prepare for work again? I think it's so critical that people realize you can take this time, and not only all the time, but this time in particular, to work on yourself. So read a leadership book, listen to a sales podcast, do an online course, anything that will help further your skills, and then be willing, willing and able to brag about that You know, at certain points in the interview process, but with other people that you're networking with and say, you know, it was a bummer that I had this time off and it's really frustrating trying to find work again. However, I've really Really use this time to make myself a better employee. But the two things that stick out while you're talking, because I'm kind of putting myself in that position, are diversity and even positivity. Even though you haven't said it yet, you're coming off very confident and positive, which is a, which is a plus, right? Absolutely. You know, job loss at any point in time is so debilitating and it feels so overwhelming and it's very easy to get caught up in that sense of this is never going to change I'm never going to get back to normal but trying to surround yourself even virtually with really positive people to say hey when I get down I need you to help me stay up will make such a difference in the job interview in the application process and when you finally get that yes we can't wait to have you join us. I think it's all very point, uh, very important. So thank you, Michael Sherlock, for your advice that hopefully people can use to get working again. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate it as well.